Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about a brand new jacket for 2011 from Olympia. This is called the Moab. This is the replacement for the Bushwhacker. So how does the Moab break down compared to the entire Olympia line? The Moab is going to be a three-quarter length jacket. It's going to have a double stage drop liner system. So you have a waterproof breathable liner that lives within this jacket. You also have a removable thermal liner that's a second liner that lives within this jacket. As you'll notice, this jacket's more geared toward adventure riding with the cut of it, the way that it's styled, the length of it as well as summertime riding with the amount of mesh that's on this guy. So it uses the two the two layer nylon mesh from Olympia that's it has a solid amount of abrasion resistance and the rest of the construction is going to be 500D DuPont Cordura throughout. So the black panels, the silver panels, it's going to be that 500D um, DuPont Cordura from, a, from an abrasion resistance standpoint and you want that over the impact areas. So the shoulder, the elbow, along the seat. Armor in this guy is going to be CE rated in the elbow, CE rated in the uh, the or the elbow rather, and the shoulder, as well as and you know the back panel is going to be a temper foam pad. So no CE rated back protection in this one. You have additional venting across the front to flow even more air, and Olympia is stepping up their game here by adding zipper garages, just a nice finishing feature. And then as we move down the jacket. You're going to notice across the front we have this belt that all allows 8 inches of adjustability. So depending on your belly, whether you're a thin guy or if you're a little more to work with here, you're going to have enough, of, enough adjustability to cover you, you know, across the board. Moving down to the pocket section on this guy, this is a new type of pocket here on the Moab. It's, it's a cargo style pocket, a bellow style pocket. It's actually really difficult to make this in the factory, so it's one of the more, more interesting features that they've chosen to include. And the way that they've done this is they've built it so it's a 3D pocket that comes out and it's big enough to, ha to house a pair of goggles. So knowing that you're probably going to be dual sport or enduro riding in this jacket, you know, being able to put an extra pair of goggles or take your jacket or your goggles off, you know, in between stops and put them in there is a big plus. Reflective piping comes all the way down the sides. Turn the face that way for me. I want to show the side of this guy. So you notice reflective piping that comes all the way down and across the side. Turn backwards for me, Patrick. Big mesh panels across the back for exhaust, so air comes in through the front. It's going to wrap around your body. Behind you, high-speed air moving over a curved surface creates a vacuum, so you're going to have those big exhaust panels across the back that are going to suck air out. Now, this is a new upgrade for jackets in 2011 from Olympia. We're starting to see this full 360-degree neoprene rolled collar. There are really two reasons for it. One, it's anti-chafing. Two, it's a little bit higher and it creates a better seal. That better seal is going to aid in um, wind noise. So. Most people don't realize this, but turbulence underneath your jawline, underneath the helmet, between the neck roll of your helmet and your collar, there's a lot of room for extra noise to be added there. That's where a lot of noise comes from. So having this higher collar with a better seal is going to give you a better chance for a quiet ride, depending on the helmet that you ride. Notice also across the back, we have that 500D Cordura in the impact area that comes all the way down, as well as the 3M Scotchlight panels. Another key upgrade for this year is a waterproof dry pocket rabbit pouch. So whether you have the liners in or the liners out, it doesn't matter. This rabbit pouch is going to be functional, and it has its own lining. It's a waterproof pocket. Spin back around for me, Patrick. Notice adjustability on the inside of the arms. So keeping your armor in place, depending on the size of your arms here, that's a key feature knowing everyone's built a little different. And one of the things about Olympia, compared to some other brands that make similar styled adventure touring stuff, is the fit. Olympia is built by a North American company for the North American market, meaning you fit your chest and your shoulders and your main frame, but depending on how much you're working with here in the gut, again, you're going to have enough room to accommodate yourself. So open this guy up for me here for a second. I want to show the cuff closure. So it's a cuff with a microfiber liner for comfort, and you also have a, a, a gusset in here. So over cuff or under cuff, depending on the time of the year. You know, in the warmer months, you might be wearing a more aggressive off-road glove with a short cuff that goes underneath. And then as you move into the later stages of the year in colder riding or wetter riding, you might have a full gauntlet. So you have enough to work with there as well. Turn to the side for me one more time. I want to show one more feature here. And again, you have hip adjustment, adjustability, as well as lat you know, across your latimus dorsi muscle under your arm here along the back, you're going to have snap adjustability there as well. I will note that Patrick's also wearing the Ranger, or I'm sorry, the Recon 3 pant, which is new for 2011. We have a separate video on that pant, but that would be the appropriate mesh pant to match up with this mesh, the mesh jacket for the video. 
So now that we have the jacket off of Patrick, and Patrick, by the way, was 5'9", 160, he's wearing a size medium. I want to walk through some of the guts on this guy and some of the armor. So as we open it up, we notice we did talk about a dual stage liner system. So in the outer shell, you have that mesh construction with some venting. There's no waterproof breathability built into this shell. You know, the waterproof, windproof breathability is going to come from this first liner. Now on the inside of the first liner, you're also going to have a quilted DuPont Thermalite um, thermal layer, which is removable as well for the warmer times of the month, but you still need the weight if you still need the rain protection. So let's start from the inside, work our way out, and go from there. So first we're going to remove the thermal. It's a thermal, it's a snap. It's up here, there's a Velcro tab that goes along the collar. Snap on this side. Zip down. And what that's going to do, actually, I'm going to need to disconnect it from the inside of the sleeve should be a single snap. It's a single pull, actually. So on that side, one of the things I really like about the way that Olympia has done their liner systems is they give you the standard, you know, whether it's a snap, whether it's Velcro, whether it's another type of fastener. A lot of people do this. But Velcro gives you an elastic, or Olympia gives you an elastic panel that allows you to be re really active in the jacket without breaking off any of these pull tabs. So it gives you some range of motion. And, and as we all know, these jackets are designed to be worn in active conditions. You know, you can enjoy them perfectly well if you're just kind of cruising around. But if you are standing on the pegs, if you are doing some enduro type riding, you're going to want the jacket to move with you and this gives you the best shot to do it. So this guy's not styled to be worn standalone. This is just your quilted thermal liner that comes right out of the Moab. And notice it's a short collar. It's designed to go inside of the waterproof breathable liner. Now we have our, our waterproof breathable liner from the Moab. This is gonna be your windproofedness, your waterproofedness. With this guy out, this jacket's just flowing tons of air. It's also the reason why we say this is really a three to four season jacket. In the coldest of cold weather, when you can't really block the air at the first level with the outer shell because you have mesh, you know, it, it tends to not hold heat as well. So you can dip this into the temperature range. Everybody's tolerance is a little bit different. But what I like to say is if somebody's gonna get this jacket that's gonna perform extremely well, you know, better than a true four season jacket, it'll perform really, really well in the summer, but you're giving up some of that wintertime protection. What you can really easily do is pick up a, vest, a heated vest liner, pick up a Gerbings or a warm and safe and drop in that heated component for the winter. And that'll kind of make up the difference of having the mesh built into the outer shell. So again, I have a single connector here that's got the elasticated connection, the elasticated strand. I'm going to pull this guy up as well. Come in tight here, pull that guy out. Zipper on each side and a collar fastener. And here is my styled windbreaker liner. Now if I get off the bike, notice that it has style to it. It has a neoprene line cuff here at the, at the bottom of each wrist. And what that's going to do is give you a tighter seal against the wind when you know, in the colder times of the year. Ripstop nylon. And you can always put the thermal in. So again, if you're camping, if you're hanging out on the bike, if you're at a rest stop, you take your outer shell on and are just kind of taking a rest, you still have this layer that you're going to look reasonable, you know, kind of hanging out in. It kind of gives you that out added bonus. I like to call it a destination layer, which means when you get somewhere, you can take your shell off and look like a normal person. So put that to the side. Now looking on the inside, when I went through the exterior of the jacket, I talked about the temper foam panel that lines the back that's built into the outer shell. But on the inside, we have our CE rated level two back protector that's built in. So you actually have an external temper foam panel on top of the CE rated pocket that you can actually remove here as well. If you need to clean the jacket, you always want to take the armor out before you wash something like this. But here you go. So there's your panel. And notice the mesh on the inside. You can also see the high vis through the inside. That's going to back up to that mesh and flow a ton of air. Pockets, cell phone pockets. You have the connector to go to your Recon 3 pants that has an elastication to it. Then also, if you're wearing this guy over a set of jeans, you have two belt loop connectors that kind of function as, as, as uh, short suspenders. So you can connect it and make sure it keeps stays down in the back. The other thing I wanted to hit on with this guy is the interior of this liner, of this collar now, is kind of a micro fleece. It's a micro suede. It's really comfortable. It's going to wick sweat well and keep you from chafing. And then the last thing I wanted to hit is here's going to be your elbow armor. I just want to show the CE rated armor that lives in the shoulders and the elbows. This is an elbow forearm. CE rated, articulated, it's going to move with you, it's going to be comfortable. That's built in. So you have to remember, 
shoulder and elbow, it's, it's rated in the CE scale of how many joules it absorbs of energy when you crash. And for back armor, it's how many kilonewtons of force it transfers to your body. So two different types of ratings. The armor lives up to that CE external specification on both. So you're getting a lot of bang for the buck. For $289, you have the high-vis yellow version, you have the silver pewter version. There's no women's version of this coat, and it matches up really, really well with the new Recon Air 3 pants. So if you have any questions about the Moab, shoot us a line. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. It's over 39 bucks. We'll happily ship it to you for free. If you get the wrong size, fire what we sent you back to us, and then we will for free ship you the new size exchange as well. And as always, everything over 100 bucks earns TeamZilla cash to be applied to your next order. It's our loyalty program that automatically happens when you shop with us, and it allows you to save some money in the long term by staying loyal to shopping at RevZilla.com. Thanks for watching today. You can find the Moab at RevZilla.com Olympia, new for 2011. We'll see you next time on RevZilla TV.